Okay, in this movie I want to show you how you can clean up a MIDI recording using the score and the piano roll editor. It's based on two other movies that I already created and you can find them here. You go to my YouTube channel, youtube.com, user music training online. And then here you can go to my playlists and you go to Learn Logic Pro and it gives you two related movies, one about screen sets and the other one about quantizing MIDI in Logic's score editor. Okay, so let me show you what we want to accomplish. Um, this is the score. Basically, I played this into Logic as sloppy as possible so we can do some serious cleanup. Here it is in Logic. Here are the tracks and uh, I created a screen set for MIDI editing, we have the score editor up here and the piano roll editor down here. Now let's first look at the top part here, which is this region played by the guitar and see what this looks like in the score editor right now. It looks pretty terrible because we really want this. So you may recall that the score editor's quantization settings affect the way you see the music, but it doesn't affect the playback. So if we play this... So you hear how terribly sloppy that was played. Uh, here in the score editor, so when we click on it, and we go to quantize here, it is set to 16th and 24. If we go to 16, 12, it will clean it up a little bit, right? Um, but you can tell logic things, for example, this E here should be on B2, which is obviously not the case. And this one is also too late. So usually logic does a really, really good job in figuring out what you intended to play. But when it's too sloppy, you know, then even logic can save you. So we have to do this manually. So let's see what this looks like in the piano roll editor. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. So you see this all starts really late and we can probably assume that that's the problem. So the first thing I would do is move it all back. So you see, when I select those here in the piano roll editor, they also get selected in the score editor. And just to compare them with the original one more time. So here, this note is solid on beat three. Maybe we can use this as a reference. So I'm gonna go back. So that would be this note here. So I'm gonna grab this selection and move it back for now. And it snaps this note to beat three in the first bar and everything else kind of moves back. But see what it did here in the score editor. Now this looks exactly the way we wanted it. All right, so this of course is still not 100% quantized and you can see there's some gaps between notes. This is overlapping, all these kind of things may not uh, be what you want when you listen back to this thing. Let's now fix the last three notes of the first bar. These are the last notes of the first bar and you can tell that they're also way too late. So we have to push them back. So I'm just gonna push it over a little bit. And also this fixed that already. Now these should be triplets. I'm gonna select those and actually quantize them to triplet. So let's go to the piano roll inspector and select eighth note triplets from the quantization menu. Now, the piano roll editor's grid is based on the subdivisions. Right now, this would be 16th notes. If you want to change the subdivisions from 16th notes to 8th note triplets, you would need the display view called custom. So you click here on the little error and you select custom display. And right here, you see 16th as the subdivision is right underneath the time signature 44. If you click on the 16, you can switch it to 12. 12 is used for eighth note triplets. 
Now, when we look at our piano roll editor grid, we see that it reflects triplets. Okay, and what we see here is these two notes here. Logic bumped them over to the right, but we need them to be here. So I'm manually moving them over. Now we have our triplets. This note here should sit right on the bead. In order to fix this, we can also click track the note in the score editor. And then these quarter note triplets look fine. And then this looks fine, if you remember from the original score, right? This is on the end of one. And then this is anticipating beat three. So let's see what's happening in logic. So this here should be, this long note here should be on beat three. And then this is 16th note. So the score looks fine now, but let's remember that what we see in logic's score editor is not a perfect representation of the actual MIDI events. Let me solo the guitar for you and let's give it a listen. Although it sounds pretty nice when we listen to it, there are still gaps and overlaps between the different events that are not shown in the score. So right here, for example, right? There shouldn't be a gap. And now that's here. The triplets and then there is a quarter note. Now we could go in here and fix everything, right? We could quantize the notes um, or move them so they snap right onto the beat and then just grab them here and extend them and do this with every single note. But this is a lot of work and if you have a big score, it takes you hours. But here's the cool thing. Since the score now looks perfect. We can freeze the score view into the actual MIDI events. And the way you do this is you click into the score editor, press command A to select all the notes. Function, go to function menu in the score editor, quantize, and then go here, fix displayed note positions and durations. And you haven't seen anything happening but if you look here, so I'm undoing this and I'm redoing this and you see it cleans it all up. Everything is now perfect. The lengths, no overlaps, no gaps. It's absolutely perfect. If you play this back, it sounds like a machine. Okay, so let's now look at the piano part. This is what it should look like up here, and down here is what Logic gives us. Obviously, there's a lot of work that needs to be done to make this look right. First, let's go to the quantization settings in the score editor and make those eighth notes. So look what this did. It made the note values perfect with the exception of the last one here. So we only want to look at the top system right now of the piano part. We have to do some cleaning up here in the piano roll editor. It says here E flat and E. When we look at the piano roll editor, we can see why the score editor shows us an E and an E flat. You see these little guys here and these are grace notes that happen when you play sloppy. You hit some of the keys that you don't really want to hit, but they make it into the score, and then that looks not so good. Like here is another thing that should go away, and you can pull this one over right away. Let's now compare the first system of the piano part in Logic Pro with the original copy. Perfect, with one exception. The top notes are half notes here, and that's not reflected here in the logic score. This has to do with the no overlap function right here. So if we uncheck that, you see, we're getting these ties. So now the piano player knows that we want the top notes long. Okay, so this is great. The only problem is in the last bar, we want this to be 
a whole note. So I'm going to go back into the piano roll editor here and pull this over to the beginning of beat five. By the way, if you select several events that belong to a chord and you want to make them end at the exact same time, hold the shift key down. So let me show you something. So if this chord would be like that and you want it to end at the same time, so select them all, hold shift and drag and then you can drag them up to the beat here, bar five, beat one. It looks like the upper part is now perfect. Now let's take care of the lower part. So this is the original score. So there's sixteenth notes and quarter notes and eighth notes. So sixteenth quantization would be perfect for this. Now we're ready to clean up the lower system of the piano part. Let's first switch the score quantization back to sixteenth notes. Let's see what we've got. Obviously this is anticipating beat three this note right here. So we need to pull this over. This seems to be all a little bit too late. And so if we grab those notes here and I'm going to make sure this is anticipated. Pull this over. Now it's great. So this note obviously it's a little bit too long. We can fix this here. Just grip them a little shorter. Okay, it looks like that's pretty good here. This one here should be 16th here, right? Pull this over here. Get rid of it. Okay, now that's fine. And the last ones, I'm going to go into the piano roll editor. See what's happening here. Put this here. All right, as you can see, the grid here is right now set to triplets, right? Here are the beats. This is beat four. You see it's divided by three here. So we go into the display here and make this sixteenths to change this grid. Okay, and let's see what the notes look like here at the end. This would be eighth notes, okay? So of course, we can just quantize this all to eighth notes. So here, say eighth notes. This is all good here, with the exception of the last one, obviously. This is too long, so I need a piano roll editor here. And shorten this note, okay. I'm going to go back. Oh, I can freeze the bass. Select these notes. Go to function, quantization, fixed display. Okay, so this is fixed. Now remember, this looked really good when we had the quantization set to eighth notes. So I'm going to set this back to eighth notes. And this looks good. I'm going to freeze it. So we go quantization, fixed display note positions and durations. And now I'm going to switch back to show the 16th notes. And now everything is perfect. See? Top and bottom, just like we want them.